this is summing up where we finished the last time. Right? Next step, answer this question. What is best for... What is best for stakeholders and society? Free speech, how is this going to affect society or the stakeholders? Society, if uh, it can, uh, I don't know the exact word, but if we can damage a uh, particular part type of customs. Okay, but first you said that you think we should have free speech for the CEOs. Uh, I was asking mm. if uh, about the question. So what do you think is better for society? What could be the negative effect for society if, they, if the CEOs can't say what they want, like give their opinions, or can't donate to those kind of causes? What could be the negative effect for society? No benefits. No benefits from CEOs, from companies. So, I mean, if we don't have free speech for the CEOs, what could be the negative effect on society? Can anybody think of a negative effect? It's okay. Don't share the right, right uh, opinions. Right, so if we don't have, here they call it chill, there could be a chilling effect. So, chilling effect could be that, you know, people are afraid to say their, give their views, right? People are afraid to give their opinions or give their views in society. Do you think that's negative in society? People can't give their opinions or can't give their view. Is that negative? Hmm? Any other opinions? Uh, Kim Suin? What do you think? Which is better for society?
Right now we're talking about, we're not talking about rights or so on, right? It's like when we push the man off the bridge, we say that it's better because we, one person dies instead of five people, right? Yes. So at this stage, we are not talking about rights yet. We're talking about what's better for society, right? So what do you think is better for society? The shield say, say, uh, say free speech to make the public public opinion. Um, CEOs can affect public opinion? Yes. Do you think that's a good or a bad thing? Yes, good. Good, good thing. thing. Why? Uh, in med, uh, uh, on special people on special people say the opinion but it's not a lot many people but CEO is the celebrity. He Almost like celebrity. So the CEO's opinion has a special has a special effect, like a celebrity. Yes. So do you mean this means they should or shouldn't have free speech? Should it? Should, so I'll link to this one. So, best for the CEO stakeholder. The CEO wants a free speech, right? What about these stakeholders, the employees and the customers? The ones that don't want the company associated with this anti-same-sex marriage. Those employees and those customers. <coughs> what is best for them, or what do they think? Why, do, why are they against this? Why do they think that's bad for society? Do they think that's bad for society? Why do these people, they say they don't want the company associated with the same-sex marriage? So why don't they want that? Or why is that bad for society? Why do they think that's generally bad, bad thing? So Kim Wei Jin? Yes. Why do, why do these people think this is generally a bad thing? Without talking about rights, just why is this, why do they think that's a bad thing in general? Okay, so take another minute to discuss about that, okay? We can see that the CEOs think they should have free speech because of these reasons, right? If people don't have free speech, then it could be bad for society. People don't give their views or give their opinions, okay? Then, on the other hand, these guys want, don't want the company associated with this opinion, right? So... Why do these guys think this is bad for society? Why do they think this is bad in general? majority of employees, right, who want the 
CEO to resign or be fired, right? So what do they think? They obviously think that it's best for society if the CEO can't give their opinion. Okay? So why do they think that? What's their reason? They might have, they probably have something to do with the rights. But first, do you think they agree that this is the best for society or not? Do you think that the employees who want the CEO to be fired, do you think that they think the CEO's free speech is good or bad for society? They want the CEO to be fired. Do they think that's good or bad for society, generally? Bad. Bad, so why? Because um, the employees are not qualified or have enough knowledge to fire CEO. So you think they don't have enough knowledge? Yeah. But I'm asking a more general question. Why could this be bad for society? Yes? So they feel that his free speech is kind of not, um, how to say, his free speech, his opinion is mm -hmm. affecting that other people cannot have free opinions because they cannot get married. Okay, so maybe his, uh, in this case we could have his opinion has a special effect, right? Again, this could influence... It could influence the happiness. We're not talking about rights now, we're talking about happiness, right? In this part, what's best, we're talking about happiness. Could influence the happiness of same-sex couples, right? So either the, because of what he says and his money and his lobbying, the city could change the law that no same-sex marriage is allowed, right? Or, uh, just people could feel bad, they could feel unhappy. If, they, if you're an employee who is in a same-sex relationship, you could feel unhappy. Yes? So can we say that he's discriminating people by his free speech? Yes, later we'll talk about this in rights. Right now we're talking about happy or not happy. What makes people happy? What makes society better? What makes people unhappy? Okay? Which is better for society? So, these guys think that if the CEOs have this opinion, then can make our customers feel bad, right? We have customers who are same-sex couples or have friends who are same-sex couples, right? And they feel bad, feel unhappy. Employees feel unhappy, okay? So we have this decision. What is better for society? So what do you think is better? So make a choice. Which do you think is better for society? You think free speech is better? So let's have a hands up. Just, we're not talking about rights now. We're talking about what's best for society. Okay, do you understand best for society? Yes. Generally makes people happy. Okay, which is going to cause more happiness or less happiness? Okay? Uh, so, hands up who thinks the free speech is better for society? Okay? Hands up who thinks that Firing the CEO if they have free speech is better for society. Better for society. Okay, so most people think this one is better for society, right? So we will uh, put a check here because if we don't, if we don't allow the CEO to give their opinion, then we could have this chilling effect, okay, where uh, people in, are afraid to give their opinions and views. Openly. So let's look at our options then. Uh, we have a case, there is a part here where we talk about developing the stakeholder capabilities to improve the situation. Do you think there's any way we can develop this, the capabilities of the stakeholders in this case to improve the situation? We're talking about the free speech situation.
Well, we can talk about this later anyway, if we talk about mate, the options and the policies, right? So what are our options? What can we do? We have to make a decision, so before we make a decision, we're going to look at our options. And we should also be creative and imaginative. Think about the impacts. So can somebody give me an option? What did the employees suggest that we do? What do the employees want? So option number one, we can fire the CEO, right? Okay, what's the next option? Cheer up the CEO. Hmm? Cheer up the CEO. Keep the CEO. Okay, the next option. change the policies, right? So one, we can do changing the policies. We can add them with something else, right? Keep the CO and change the policy. Okay, any other option? Is there anything in between firing and keeping the CEO? Is there anything we could do in the middle of those two? Don't care anything. Hmm? Don't care anything. Maybe you mean just keep the CEO? But I mean, is there any middle ground instead Give of firing the CEO? Give a warning. Okay, so we could discipline the CEO but keep him, right? Uh -huh. Keep but discipline the CEO. How could we discipline the CEO? We could give some warning, right? Or suspension. Suspension or fine. Okay, so then with any of these things, we can try to change our policy and procedures. Okay, so then the next one, what is the right thing to do? So, we have to consider here, what does the law say, okay? What does the company policy say? Fundamental rights, derivative rights, special obligations to, to stakeholders. So we have a number of different uh, things we have to uh, consider, okay? So, what? Here, what kind of rights do we have? So discuss with your partner. I'll make a list here, I'll write some different things. Discuss with your partner, what kind of rights uh, do people have here? For example, fundamental rights. Who has what rights?
discuss about what rights we think are at play here. So, E. Hopte? Yes. What rights do you think? Um, yes, what kind of fundamental right do we have here? Could be. Looks like. What kind of fundamental right is that dealing with? Non-discrimination. Yes, non-discrimination, right? So if here we can write down non-discrimination. So we saw that the employer should not discriminate against any of their workers, right? Based on their race, or their sex, or in this case their sexual preference, right? So on. Okay, any other rights? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Okay. Um, any other? Uh, what about the fiduciary obligation to the shareholders? We in the what it does it mean fiduciary obligation to shareholders? Trust. Trust. We have to do try to make a profit for the business, right? Remember we said that we have this obligation to make a profit for the business first. Then we can do other things later, right? So while keeping in mind our fundamental rights, okay? Uh, so, what kind of, what do you think the shareholders are going to say in this case, the owners of the business? We didn't write here, but we could also write the shareholders, right? So, what are the shareholders going to say? What do you think the shareholders want? Do they want the CEO making this kind of statement or not? Is that good for business or bad for business? Bad for business, right? Normally companies, uh, if companies make a political statement, usually they try to keep away from making too politicized a statement on one side or the other. Because they don't get much benefit, but they can get disadvantage, right? Let's say there was an election next month, and I say, I, my company is supporting, uh, let's say this company, Mozilla, is supporting Barack Obama. We're not going to get many new customers, right? But the people who support the Republican Party could get angry and stop buying our product. But I'm not saying that I support Barack Obama and same uh, sex couples, that's a bit different. Yes, but I mean, just this is kind of political issue too, because what he's doing is he's giving money, a donation, to change the law, to change the law, to get the politicians to change the law. So it is, it is different, right? But I mean, companies generally, they don't want to be controversial. Do you understand controversial? Make controversial statements. Because if you come out and make a very controversial statement, what you're going to do is the people who already agree with you, agree with you. But the people who don't agree with you might stop buying your product, if you know what I mean. Do you understand that idea? Yes. So it can have a negative impact on your profits, right? In that case. So companies try to avoid being too controversial. Because there's not, they're just a company. There's not too much for them to gain by getting involved in, in controversial issues. Because they can just end up turning people off their company uh, more than anything else, right? So they generally try to avoid that kind of thing. So 
uh, the shareholders, right? We have to think about them too. So we, we want them to uh, the company to go well, right? So we can't ignore this. So we have to take into consideration. when we're making our decision, okay? Also the right of the shareholder. They want the our company to make a profit, okay? Or they need the company to make a profit. Uh, then, uh, we can look at the law, okay? In this case, we have the employment at will doctrine. So, uh, we won't go into too much detail in the class time, just maybe when you're doing your your uh, projects, you can have a little bit more time, right? But uh, the legal issue is not a big point in this one, okay? So perhaps the law is not exactly clear about that. So uh, we have to look at the rights. So which rights do you think is stronger here? If you look at the rights, what is that saying? To you. We said that when we looked at what is best for the stakeholders in society, that probably this is better. Okay? But if we look over here at the rights, which one looks to be stronger? Whose argument looks to be stronger on the rights? Non-discrimination, non right? First, we have first of all the strongest one, the non-discrimination, right? So the employee in the company could say, well, I feel discriminated against because my employer is supporting a cause which, as you mentioned earlier, right? Discrimination. discrimination. Or my customers could say, if the CEO supports that cause, I feel discriminated against. Does everybody understand discrimination? Right? That's a fundamental right. Uh, what about freedom of speech? For example, can anybody write anything they want on the internet? Not here. Can you write anything you want on the internet or there is some limit? So which do you think is stronger, non-discrimination or freedom of speech? Which is stronger? Non-discrimination, non right? Is stronger in this case. So for example, I can't just go and uh, write some really hateful messages about people, right? Then, uh, there, for example, if I'm a racist and I want to make a racist organization, then uh, I can't go around making speeches and uh, putting all my information freely on the internet, right? In this kind of racist way. So, uh, the next one is the obligation. We also have to think about our shareholders who want to make a profit. Is this decision affecting their rights? They also have this kind of right that they, I should respect my, the owners of the company and respect that they are trying to make a profit, right? And think about that too. So we have kind of a conflict here, okay? We have, this is often the case in the ethical dilemma. The thing which is best for society, like we saw with the fat man, right? The better thing for society would be that one person dies instead of five people, right? We push him off the bridge and he saves the five people. But it's conflicting with his rights, okay? Uh, the dignity of him as a person, right? Or we shouldn't murder. So in this case we have, it looks like this is better for society, okay? That because uh, if we stop people giving their opinions, we could have a problem in society, okay? But on the other hand, this case looks like it's discriminating against people. And I have some responsibility to my shareholders, okay? So what we have to do last, we have to decide what to do. We have to decide what we're going to do, okay? And we have to make an argument an argument to support what we are going to do. Okay, so just discuss with your partner what are you what would you do in this case and what would be your argument? 
Try to think about, we have to also think about our moral philosophy when we're making the argument. Okay? Maybe it maybe depends on our moral philosophy. So there's no answer that right answer that's 100% right. Okay? In this competition, what they're going to give the prize to is the person who makes the best argument. Right? They make their ethical decision and they made a very good argument, convincing argument for that decision. Then that's the best thing, right? So it's the same for you in your midterm project. It's not that you made, you know, you have to be able to make a decision and have a good argument to convince me that you made the right decision or the correct decision, okay? So I'll just spend uh, five minutes now discussing with your partner about this case. What do you think? about this case, and what kind of argument could you make to support your decision? Yes? Uh, yes, I'll just stop using this, I guess. Some problems for everyone. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Well, you can, we already said that might be better in society. 
to do that. So here we have what the conflict between rights and society. What's good for society? Which might be better for society? But on the other hand, the shareholders have their rights. Okay, and the other uh, uh, same sex couples also have their rights. Which is strong. Which is strong. <laughs> example of one argument, a uh, reasoned argument on the board, but you might have different arguments, okay? So, uh, just an example. 